Hello everyone, hope you had a great day. As promised, I will be showing you how to write a paragraph using the traffic light system. Now this is the video for those of you who think that the system can help you and make it easier for you to write a paragraph. And I totally understand that. Even though this traffic light system may seem like a childish concept, it's not. It's actually really helpful. It's like following steps and the final product is an amazing paragraph which has everything it needs. Firstly, we're gonna start off with a brief description on what the traffic light system is. The traffic light system consults of three things, a topic sentence, supporting sentences, and a concluding sentence. Once you have all these three things in your paragraph, then there's nothing you need to worry about. Start off with the topic sentence. A topic sentence is the main idea of the paragraph. It tells the reader what the paragraph is about. Now, if you're writing a paragraph on how COVID-19 is such a dangerous virus, then your topic sentence will be something like, COVID-19 is a very dangerous virus and we should stay away from it. Once you've written this in your paragraph, the reader will have a clear idea of what you're going to be talking about, which is how COVID-19 is such a dangerous virus. Supporting sentences are the next thing that come right after the topic sentence. The sentences describe the topic sentence. The supporting sentences go into detail about the paragraph. Now, we're going to carry on with the example that we started with. As in the topic sentence, we wrote that COVID-19 is a dangerous virus and we should stay away from it. Our supporting sentences will be us basically telling how the COVID-19 is such a dangerous virus and why we should stay away from it. One main thing about supporting sentences is that they have to be on topic. They have to describe and explain the topic sentence slash the main idea clearly. If you're writing about how dangerous COVID-19 is, we can't start talking about how our grandpa is so amazing. We need to stay on topic. Next, we have a concluding sentence. Now, the concluding sentences cannot be six to seven lines long. They can be maximum two lines long. A concluding sentence wraps up the entire paragraph. A concluding sentence is the summary of the supporting sentences as well as everything discussed in the paragraph above. Now, as we're going to carry on the example how COVID-19 is dangerous, in the supporting sentences we told that COVID-19 is, this is, these are the reasons why COVID-19 is dangerous and these are also the reasons why we should stay home and stay safe. So our concluding sentence will basically be us talking about and wrapping up the paragraph that this COVID-19 is such a dangerous virus and we should all stay away from it and we should take precautions. This is basically us concluding the paragraph and wrapping it up. One thing we need to make sure of is that in the concluding sentence, you do not add more details. All details will be put in the supporting sentences and the concluding sentences will have no details and you will end the sentences and the paragraph. This way, the reader will get a clear idea that this is where the paragraph ends and then they can move on to the next paragraph. These are the three steps that make up the traffic light system and without them, you can't write a paragraph, let alone have a traffic light system. So as we discussed earlier, a paragraph must have these three things, topic, supporting, and concluding sentences. Now that we know the brief description of what a paragraph and a traffic light system consults of, Let's see how much we've learned so far. Let's take a summary of our knowledge. So let's take a look at these two paragraphs and you can help me if you want and join in if you want. Highlight them according to the traffic light system. Before we go on to the paragraphs, 
This may sort of be confusing as I haven't discussed it. You're probably wondering what does highlight them according to the traffic light system mean? Well, why is it called the traffic light system and not how to write a paragraph or some other name? Where the traffic light system comes is due to the three colors in the traffic light, which are green, yellow, and blue. Sorry, what I meant is green, yellow, and red. And sorry for that confusion. Hopefully, it wasn't confusing. Again, I say the three colors in the traffic light are green, yellow, and red. Now, we highlight our paragraph according to these three colors. So, green is the color of the topic sentence. Why we highlight it green is so we know that we have a topic sentence. If there is nothing to highlight green, then that means our paragraph isn't correct. Let's start with the first paragraph. Maya's mother is a working mother, so she doesn't get to spend time with Maya. She works all day and when she gets back home late at night, Maya is already asleep. When Maya wakes up to get ready for school, her mom is already gone to her office. Maya and her mother barely get time to spend with each other. Now what do you understand from this passage? What the author is telling us is that Maya's mother is a working mother, so they don't get to spend time with each other. Let's spot the things that we're here for. What is the topic sentence in this paragraph? Maya's mother is a working mother, so she doesn't get to spend time with Maya. Is this what our paragraph is about? Are we describing this in the paragraph? Are we going into more detail about it in the paragraph? Yes, then I think this is our topic sentence as in the rest of the paragraph we describe this. So we are going to simply highlight it green. Now, let's move on to the next things. Next up, we're finding the supporting sentences. She works all day and when she gets back home late at night, Maya is already asleep. Is this what we found out in the supporting sentences? Yes, because these sentences describe the topic sentence are, are, and are going in more detail about why they don't get to spend much time together. So we are going to highlight these past uh, sentences yellow as they are supporting sentences. Now why highlighting is important? So you have an idea of yourself if you have added all three things. And of course the only line we have left is Maya said Maya and her mother barely get time to spend time with each other. Well, this is what the entire paragraph was about, isn't it? This is what the supporting sentences were telling us. That due to certain actions, they don't get to spend time with each other. For this, we're going to highlight it red. Now this as you can see, if you look from far away, looks like a traffic light. We have all the things that we need. Now, let's move on to the next passage, which is about COVID-19. This global pandemic, which is spreading, is very deadly. Some people have the virus, but don't know, and they aren't able to stay safe. This virus spreads very quickly and can easily infect you. This virus infects our lungs, which are some of the most sensitive organs in our body as they help us breathe. We need to stay safe from this virus as it's very dangerous. Now this is very similar to the example we have been using all along. So I think this should be very clear how to highlight this. So the topic sentence will be this global pandemic which is spreading is very deadly. 
because that's what we talk about in the rest of the passage. Now these are some details which actually explain the topic sentence. So we highlighted yellow. And our concluding sentence is the summary of what the supporting sentences are telling us. All the reasons given in the supporting sentences make it very, very simple for us to say that we need to stay safe from this virus and that it's very dangerous. Now, if you're highlighting it, and I'm sorry, sometimes there can be mishaps. So we just highlight this red. Now we have done two paragraphs. Now, if you didn't understand it from everything, even though you should, we have this image known as stoplight paragraphs, or in other words, the traffic light system itself. The topic sentence tells the main idea. The supporting sentences give us details about the main idea. And the closing sentence, or the concluding sentence, ends the paragraph and revises the main idea. So this is basically what the traffic light system is all about. I don't know about you, but this really helped me. And hopefully from this video, you understood what the traffic light system is, what it consults of, and how to highlight a paragraph according to it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully this that you gained some knowledge from this. And I really hope you did. Thank you.